Hey everyone, today we are going to take a look at fine grain password policies. Before the release of Windows Server 2008, you could only have one password policy and account lockout policy per domain. However, there are times when you need a group of users to have a different password policy. For example, the administrator's group would require a stronger password policy than a regular user. So, with the release of Windows Server 2008, Active Directory gained one major functionality called Fine Grain Password Policy. This gives administrators the ability to set different password policies and account lockout policies for a different set of users within the same domain. By the way, if you want to know more about setting the regular password and account lockout policies, you can click the banner on the top right corner for our video on it. Now, coming back to fine grain password policies, let's see how you can create one. You can do it using the Active Directory Services Interface Editor, or AEDSI Edit. So, go to Server Manager, click on Tools, and select AEDSI Edit. In the menu bar on the AEDSI Edit console, select Action, and click Connect To. In the Connection Settings dialog box, select Default Name and Context as the Connection Point and Default Domain as the Computer, and then click OK. Now, double-click on the, the following containers, Default Name and Context, DC equals domain name, DC equals com, CN equals system. And finally, CN equals password settings container. Right click on this container and select new, and then select object. In the create object dialog box, under select a class, choose MSDS password settings and click next. Enter the name of the password policy that you are going to create and click next. Now, you will have to enter the values for each policy. As you keep clicking Next, the next policy will appear, and you can enter its value. Once you're done with this process, the Create Object Wizard will show the finished page. Here, click on More Attributes. Choose both from the Select Which Properties to View drop-down list, and Select MSDS PSO applies to from the Select a Property to View drop-down list. Under the Attribute Values section, enter the distinguished name of the user or group to which this policy should be applied to, and click Add. You can add more than one user or group. Once all the users and groups are added, click OK, and then click Finish, and you're done. If you want a more detailed explanation of this process, and learn more about fine-grained password policies, such as its precedents, you can check out our article given in the description below. So that's it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.